It's time to unpack everything I got at San Diego Comic Con. Finally, the dust has settled. Uh, Jesse has finally returned, and I think he has some goodies in there that I have yet to see. I'm still exhausted, but we're gonna power through. So, did you have fun this year? Um, fun is a term that may or may not apply to San Diego Comic Con anymore. It is so crowded and massive, and just there's so many bells and whistles going off. It's hard to extract fun from the equation. But you got everything that you wanted, or? I did not. The the one thing I was most excited about was the trooper from episode seven. And you couldn't get your hands on it? Couldn't get them, they were sold out, the lines were enormous, they were going for $100 at every booth that had some stock. Wow. And this is a figure that will be re-released within, you know, a couple of months of this airing. So it's like there's some fun tradition in getting toys early. Yeah. Especially when it's a big film that's coming out. Stars. Like it kinda gets you it gets you pumped up for it. Alright, so let's jump to the San Diego Comic Con vault of goodies that Jesse has brought. First up, Nikki, you have a birthday. Happy birthday, Nikki. As such, got you a little something in San Diego. Really? A golden Oh, that, that's a sick one. Isn't that great? I mean, I do have to move soon and I'm like packing up on my bear bricks, but this is awesome because I have a ton of gold ones that I just love. This is gonna stand right next to them. That's awesome, thank you. Happy birthday. Buddy. Thank you. Also, a little gift from our friends at Tamashi. Oh, so at their booth, if your purchase was over a certain amount, they would give you these special one-ups and you can't get them anywhere else. There's no other Nintendo figure that includes the one-up mushroom. Yeah, so these uh, clip on to your Mario and it gives him superpowers and the ability to talk at nighttime as long as there are no adults around. Ah, uh, that's awesome. That's really, really cool. How many are near one? I, I need extra lives, so I, I need to know. You need a first life. First of all. Oh, that's so sick. You get the one-up mushroom, you get the clips, and the little one-up text. You can go almost hear the sound right now. Here's these Super 7 finals that you asked me to pick up for you. Yeah, uh, really, there was a lot of things that I, I that were very interesting at Comic-Con, but really I just wanted these two bad boys, these two vinyl toys. We got Caveman Dinosaur and Mummy Boy. This is the Super 7 logo. That'll be uh, $300. Uh, Please I'll, PayPal me. I'll PayPal you. Before we dive into the rest of our Comic-Con finds, why don't we do a giveaway for those people that were not able to to come to San Diego. Okay, so simultaneously, now we have two giveaways going on right now. If you haven't noticed yet, we have a Zelda giveaway in our last video. Once we get 25,000 subs, we'll give you some good stuff. But what are we giving away this time? We're giving away the Skybound Minis right here, baby. So you got a Walking Dead and you got an Invincible figurine. We don't know what they are. You can see how very rare they are on the side of the package. Comment below. Let us know what you like about Toy Pizza. Uh, who's wearing a nicer shirt today? Check out the details below and uh, most importantly, comment and share. Moving on. Moving on. I don't want to look at the box. There's a lot of things in there. There's a lot of stuff in here. So, this is the thing uh, I was most proud to get. Oh my this God. is the anti-car from Thousand Toys. Thousand Toys. Now, you remember last Comic-Con, I came back with, the that, Android? with that weird robot with a removable face. Dude, this, with teeth, yeah. This is the newest version. Dude, this is what I should have put on my wish list, man. No way, this is impossible to come by. Uh, and I also met the creator. I got his signature right here, check that out. Real cloth, it's got an apron and a gas mask. I, oh, what did you know? Right underneath the helmet, of course, is... Spooky. Very spoopy. Wow. Then he's got this other, this is like the skin Dude. that goes on the face. Dude, they do uh, Cyborg so, so good. It, it, they're amazing. Oh, that is bizarre. Isn't Love that me. great? With the, with the hoodie on? Dude, that's so sick. And this badass weapon. Bottle opener. Oh, wow. He's wearing uh, Zara jeans yeah. right here. Yeah, you can see from Reminds the... me of uh, pants that my, my eldest, uh, Randy, would wear. Yeah. We're not speaking right now. I actually had to get a shot of Randy's uh, pants after this because it's got the same folds in the knee as Randy's pants. This is really more of a work of art, I, I would argue, than a toy or a collectible. His eyes move too. Oh, I don't want to touch that. This is so creepy. It, it, it looks like a tool video came to life. Yeah, and definitely just, you know, I love when they just merge like a skeleton with like a cyborg. You know, look at the leg. That, those look like bones, you know? This to me is the pinnacle of a 12 inch action figure. I like this way more than any of the other manufacturers out there. I think it's so unique and original, and I will be a lifelong customer of everything a thousand toys makes. 
1,000 toys, what else do you got in that box? Uh, don't call me 1,000 toys. And I got this baby right here. Oh, uh, so this is the next uh, exclusive Vegeta pop final thank you uh, to UCC. The difference is that his body is metallic, which is just awesome because I love the Vegeta pop. You're a huge fan of DBZ. And we're giving that away. Just kidding. Not kidding. I stumbled across uh, my good friends at NECA. Oh, they're doing a lot of crazy stuff. They had so many exclusives, but the one I had to get was this that case of the Nicky Fingers, uh, was this Rambo right here, because this is on the classic card, like the Coleco line from the 80s. Dude, NECA does the packaging so well. I mean, yeah. clearly they, they killed it with the uh, NES and the, the, the box open flap. Yeah. Uh, but this is sick. Nice it, throwback. It's such a great recreation, and it even has the sort of data cards that the original line had, and the the artwork looks authentic. Like there's, they they really were very thoughtful about this, and this was one of my favorite lines when I was a kid. Yeah, the the card stock in the back is bent, just like that. Just like in the uh, yeah, the, the sticker, the, 80s, uh, the hang tag, hang yeah. tag. Yeah. I've always wanted to get one of the Rambo figures, but I wanted to wait because I wanted like, you know, Rambo with a lot of accessories and yeah. that sort of classic there look for him. And now I've got it, and I got everything, and it's good to go. And I'm going through a bad divorce right now, and uh, I don't want to talk about it. I may never speak to my eldest son, Randy. Ram again. Ramby. Makes me think of that. One of the other things that was sold out on most days, but I lucked out very early in the morning on uh, Saturday, was this gigantic Deadpool. Secret Wars Deadpool. Yeah, remember the Secret Wars line when we covered that? What? It's the gun that is so like iconic. Right, and obviously Deadpool was never around when the Secret Wars line happened, so this is just like a really clever sort of use of that body type. Yeah. It's made by General Giant or 3D Systems as they're called nowadays, and uh, I just really dig it. It's such a nice piece. Yeah, it reminds me of the uh, Toy Biz uh, larger uh, figures. Yeah. You know, like the, the Wolverine. And uh, this is sick because, again, using the Secret Wars body. It, it's really good for when you're putting on a diaper and role-playing as a baby because it gives a sense of scale to everything. What do you think about the, the Deadpool trailer? The Deadpool trailer looks very promising. I think everybody's excited for that movie. And Ry Ry Reynolds is just a heartthrob. How tall is he? 12 inches? He's about 12 inches tall. Wow. That's awesome. And I think this isn't the largest toy that you got from Comic-Con. It's true? not the largest, nor is it my favorite. If I have to pick favorites, I'm giving it to these beautiful two-ups that uh, Super 7 did, although maybe more than a two-up. Maybe it's a three or four-up. Um, but the big surprise to me when I got it out of the package was that it actually has the Battlematic action to it, man. Just like the original. Right. I mean, I think a lot of people assume these were just sort of bigger versions, but maybe hollow molded. Yeah. It's not the case, man. They got the inner mechanics and everything. Let me tell you right now, from photos, and you know, even while you were at Con and people were posting this, I literally thought it was, you know, the, the exact same Skeletor sure. that was like six inches tall. Right. Uh, not the case, baby. I didn't know it was this big. So that's actually really cool because they're available in so many of these like color uh, variants. Uh, and also the almost like the same original packaging as well. Yeah, gigantic packaging. Unfortunately, I had to ship all this stuff back, so packaging was the first thing to go out. Uh, you know, we had to. I had to find a box big enough to put everything in. Is this armor removable? Armor's removable. This thing wow. is really. It's an authentic recreation. You know. These, so these actually have rubber bands in there. So if I broke it, it wouldn't work anymore. Please don't break it. <laughs> you you've been doing good so far. No, be even more awesome if they did this next year, but not. They didn't have this mechanic. It had the, the, the different chest, like, oh, uh, damage. Yeah. That would be cool, because I would just, like, literally all day just, like, scroll through there and be like, I, I want this one. Yeah. Dude, that would be pretty cool. Well, you got his Ram's, Ram's head cane. Yeah, this goes, his this staff. Fits, this fits nicely into this hand. And then he also comes with half of a power sword. He-Man comes with the other half. You can combine the two, and then boom, you're ready to go roll Eternia. So those are some of the things I picked up at Comic-Con. Let us know in the comment, what did you pick up? And also, don't forget, enter the contest for our giveaway. That's right. Wish me a happy birthday. And wish Nikki a happy birthday. <laughs> Only thing left to say is pizza out. Don't ever do I'll that get you, He-Man. Don't do that. No, oh, no. jag me on, he man. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry about that. You started uh, eating excessive amount of peanuts. That's kind of how I uh, sort out my feelings by eating peanuts, and I'm definitely allergic.